Yo, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I'm making this video especially for you right now. If you're in a relapse or if a relapse is common for you and you just want to preemptively know what to do. All right. So do this. Do this when you're in a relapse. And what this is, is first I want to tell you a story of what I used to think a relapse was it's good it's great to get an understanding first of what a relapse is to understand what you have to do to get out of a relapse so first what I thought it was back in three years ago when I was severely stuttering and I was feeling lost I thought I couldn't control it I thought that man I pray every morning I don't wake up and I'm in a relapse like I, I pray it's not like that. Going to bed each night, <laughs> cross my heart saying, please don't wake up and start the beginning of a relapse. I thought it was so out of my control whether I fall back into this, re back into this relapse. And what that does, what that mindset does when you think like, oh my God, who knows, in two weeks I might relapse, in four weeks I might relapse, I just took this course and two months later, I relapse. Like, how to make it actually in your control is by realizing that that mindset is completely trash. That mindset will fuck you over so many times because when you are praying for it not to come back, you, one, are saying that you do not want to stutter that one stutter may lead into a relapse. So every fucking time you stutter, you're, you're thinking, man, is this the beginning of a relapse? Man, it's been two days. I've been stuttering severely for two days. Is this my relapse? Is this my relapse? Am I gonna go months and months and months with, without being able to talk now? You will have so much anticipatory fear for each stutter you have. You'll be locked in your brain and you will stutter more because of it, because you're in your head and because you're holding on to so much fear, all right? That's the mindset I was in and that's the mindset a lot of people who stutter are in that is not serving them at all, all right? At all. Now I'm gonna tell you what I realized that absolutely changed my life. I realized that a relapse does not come, does not come if I do not hide. A relapse only comes when I hide continually for periods of time. Hide, when I repress, when I shy away, when I don't speak my truth. So knowing that, that big, big realization allowed me to see that it's actually in my control. 100% my actions are 100% in my control my stutter may not be right now your stutter may not be right now you may be stuttering and you cannot control it but your actions are and the actions is the thing that means the most to overcome your stutter in relapses and any fucking thing <laughs> your actions hold the most power if you start acting in a way that isn't true to you but supplicates to your stutter and you say i fear stuttering right now i fear judgment i fear these negative emotions so i'm not going to say the words that i want to say there you will just add you will just add fear to your stutter look look at this cute little christmas cute little christmas tree here all right but if you start to be more aligned with your own actions, what you want to do, and you say, regardless if I stutter or not, I'm going to take the actions, the power your stutter has over you starts to get stripped away and away and away, all right? That's just a quick little knowledge bomb that you should know, that you have to know. So now, you, now that you know the importance of your actions, that's what you need to focus on. If you're in a relapse right now, just know the only, okay, let's, let's get clear on what a relapse is. A relapse is not two days of bad stuttering. 
a relapse is not two weeks of bad start a bad stuttering a relapse is a mindset that you cannot be your true fucking self and everything the outside world is an absolute scary monster judgment place and this could come in the form of a month this could come in the form of two months this could co come in the form of six months but a relapse is not stuttering i stutter all the time i stutter all the time but it does not grow one stutter does not perpetuate more stuttering because i'm not viewing my stutter as this negative thing it's not it's just showing me my stress levels it's just showing me what what kind of things I'm holding on to in this present moment. It's showing me where my attention is. It's nothing. The, the, a relapse comes when your actions start to mold based off the fear of trying not to stutter. All right? Replay that again. I probably can't say it again because it was so smart. <laughs> our, our relapse is when your actions start to mold because of the fears of trying not to stutter that's a relapse and then through hiding and through repressing and through avoiding you begin to take on this different personality that is just terrified of the world who's terrified to speak who is just in wary who's just worried who's just stressed at every little thing in their life and you feel like there's no way out that could be defined a relapse, but again, like not even again, this is just me saying the world, the word relapse, the only reason why I use it is because that's a common word to use when I don't even fucking believe there's such thing as a re, a re, a re, a relapse. That, what I just described would be the closest thing to a relapse is complete hiding for periods of time, periods of time. But let's just throw with that fucking word, all right? If if you're if if you fuck with my mindset, and if you follow my vi follow my videos, don't even think relapse as a thing. Like, it's just a made up word in your brain that doesn't serve you whatsoever. It's just designed to fucking scare you. So now that you know what a relapse is, and now you know what a relapse isn't, and now you know the world word relapse is fucking bullshit. Let's get clear on what you have to do now. What you have to do is legitimately whatever your heart tells you to do. And I know right now that might sound stupid because for you, your heart might be telling you, you think your heart might be telling you to stay and repress and hide. That's the safest thing to do. But no, that's your brain that's trying to protect you. What happened before it told you to repress? What, what thoughts did you have be, before it told you to hold, hold back? Did you want to ask a question? Did you want to express in some way, shape, or form? Did, like, what did you want to do? That's the first thing, is get very clear on your authentic path. Get very, get very clear on your truth and just start speaking it. If your brain gets involved and you say, no, don't do it, it's scary, that means you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to get in the habit of doing it. That's the first thing. The second thing is actually lay out a plan for you to follow each day that pushes your comfort zone a little bit, all right? Because you're in this state right now of hiding, this means you have been inside of your, com inside of your comfort zone for far fucking too long. And that means everything outside of your comfort zone will cause anxiety. All, like, anything outside your comfort zone, of course, will cause anxiety, worry, doubt, and you have been avoiding that for too long. You need to go and push yourself, get desensitized to anxiety, get desensitized to embarrassment, get desensitized to worry, and see that it did not kill you, and see that, damn, I actually feel good because I did something outside of my comfort zone and I didn't die. My brain said I was gonna die. I didn't die. Set things to do every single day that pushes you a little bit, a little bit 
take control of your fucking actions. That's it, all right? First first thing, let's, let's go through this again. First thing, get very clear on what you need to do, what your heart tells you to do. Stop avoiding what your heart says and start doing what your heart tells you to do before your brain even gets in, involved. And if it does get involved and say, hold back, repress, then go and do that thing fucking anyway. You need to do that thing. All right, and then actually make an action plan, something you're gonna do every single day that's gonna push you a little bit and a little bit and a little bit outside of your comfort zone so that stuttering doesn't seem like such a scary thing anymore because you've done other scary things that make stuttering look small. And when stuttering looks small and there's not as much fear being held with it, you're not gonna wanna avoid it so much it's not going to cause so much tension and as a result you just won't won't stutter as much even though that should not be the goal obviously and of course i'm not going to leave you hanging if you want the exact action plan the step-by-step -step plan to go from hiding repressing anxiety embarrassment worry doubt shame not being your true character to evolving into the authentic version of you that will never fucking rel relapse again that's a promise you'll never rel relapse again as long as you just know what actions to take and just become the most dominant the most badass the most the the highest version of yourself of your true character, of your authentic character that you can become. That is how you overcome your stutter. If you want the exact action plan that I have followed exactly myself and all my clients have and <laughs> achieved fucking amazing success, then you can comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram at CG Stutter and just hit me up and say, Chase, that sounds interesting tell me more and uh yeah that's how you get out of a relapse it's really simple it's really simple you just have to know the right actions to take you just have to know the right actions to take it's not a guessing game if it's laid out in front of you it's as simple as fucking peas and carrots all right that's it i love you peace